you know, outside of the family and the friends, I mean, the fact that you've got the biggest element of this documentary, Lee Murray's voice. Yeah. H- how did you do that? How did that come together? That is the most fascinating part for me as someone that understands a little bit about film production, documentary filmmaking, and just producing content. Unbelievable that you've got his voice almost narrating his perspective and his POV throughout the entire four episodes here. How did you do that? Well, that was the moment when we were going, oh my God, like not only do we have the story, like we can actually incorporate Lee's voice. I didn't know that those recordings existed. They didn't tell me that until well into this process. So again, I think it comes back to the whole test that they were doing. And then, I mean, they, sat me down one day and said, we've had these recordings for years of that multiple recordings with multiple people, these friends and family members, uh, his wife in particular, Nicola, um, that they've had. And I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. And, and again, it's because they said, you know, there's been so many things that have been done that are not accurate. You know, they felt like everything, every news piece, every, every article, whatever it was, publication that talked about the story or talked about Lee Murray, they felt like was not accurate. So they started recording phone conversations with him in prison. And I was blown away, completely blown away. And then, uh, and then we started hearing them and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You know? So it was an amazing moment of, wow, we can actually include Lee's voice because I've never interviewed Lee Murray. I've right. never spoken to him. He's in a maximum security prison right now. You know, hopefully not too big of a spoiler alert, but you can Google this pretty easily and see. And so, you know, you can't, there's n- nobody outside of a couple of people that are on the list, right, for the prison for him to talk to gets to speak to him, you know. Um, so uh, I've never spoken to him, never interviewed him at all. And the fact that essentially these people had asked him questions about what happened, what his role was, you know, what are you thinking? All of this stuff was an absolute gold mine. And, and we got very, very lucky, you know, to, to be able to include that. But again, it's, it's why it's the dream to go, hey, we can actually piece together this from his perspective as well. So we can bounce back and forth from the police saying this happened and then him saying this happened and vice versa. So you're getting it from both sides, which is everything that you want when you're making a doc about something this complex. Isn't that so bizarre? I mean, like you said, like the the figure that this whole documentary is centered around, you have not met him, you have not interviewed him. And yet it's, it's, such a integral part of the experience watching this documentary. Unbelievable that that landed on your lap there. Well, and it's it, it, when you hear it too, you know, like you, when you hear somebody's voice, you learn so much about that person, you know? And, and like, I remember my whole team, like the first time we heard it, everybody listening to it and you, there was other clips, you know, archival clips of him speaking, but not that many that we could even find. And we had, tons of people looking for it but when you hear him talk i mean that was the thing that was so surprising you're like okay this is going just his voice takes you beyond again like the kind of shallow mythical you know uh reported version of who he actually is and to hear him speak about these things it's like it it just it creates a completely different picture of who lee murray is and i think we get by far the closest it's you know any story that's ever been told about him as a three-dimensional person, not just a fighter, not just a criminal, right? You, you get, you get to hear from him, from him in a way that, I mean, hell, nobody's heard his voice publicly in 17 years yeah. outside his friends and family that are on that call list. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Share this with your friends. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more amazing content planned. So jump along for the ride.